Hello and welcome to a pretty big Zoho news update here from Zonata Consulting. My name is Tyler Colt and in this video we're going to be going over Zoho Projects Plus. This is a new bundle that Zoho is going to be offering. It's going to combine a couple applications and some baked in AI functionality. So I want to get this video out for you as soon as possible. Before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, feedback and questions down below that like button. And last but not least, if you're looking to chat with Zanata about how we can help with your Zoho install, just head on over to Zanata.com, click on book a meeting, and we'll be talking about how we can help in no time. Without any further ado, let us jump on in. I'm going to cover some of the features, benefits, kind of the purpose of this bundle. Then we'll take a quick look at it together just to see what it looks like in practice. So Zoho Projects Plus, as I mentioned, is kind of a hybrid project management tool. It's a bundle that's going to include a handful of applications, including projects, sprints, analytics and work drive. So kind of covering everything you need for full project management capabilities. A couple things here that are kind of unique about it. So they're really leaning into one of the existing integrations between Zoho projects and sprints, which essentially is going to let you run a project that blends a waterfall and an agile approach. So this can sometimes make sense where you might have a section of a bigger project that you want to manage as a sprint. And so we're going to leverage that integration between projects and sprints to do that. Um, you're also going to have a ton of reporting capabilities baked directly into this bundle, just given that it's natively integrated with Zoho Analytics, kind of one of our favorite reporting tools. And then really a big focus here is baked in AI features that are going to connect into Zoho projects. It's going to allow you to give it an open AI key and actually have ChatGBT and Zia work together to give you some of those summaries and insights about your ongoing projects. Again, using Zoho Analytics will also be very easy to summarize and display out your data. And as always, with really every Zoho application, it's going to come with the full suite of workflows, blueprints, and automation tools that you expect really with any Zoho application. So quick run through of some of the features. So of course, you're going to have task management going to work pretty similar to uh, Zoho projects. Again, with that add on of being able to more easily query analytics and more easily loop in an AI to actually give you some of the insights, right? So here we're seeing, hey, are there any overdue issues assigned to Monica? Here they are, right? So I'm just able to chat a tool to actually get that type of information. Again, looking here, being able to bake in a bit more agility, aka like an agile or sprint workflow directly into your projects. So here you can kind of see this project has a sprint board that's part of the overall project flow. Um, and then again, of course, more automation tools. Like I mentioned, a big part here is looking at the sprint integration into Zoho projects. So they're really trying to emphasize and tie those a little bit more closely together. Um, so if you're someone who's using that integration right now, this very likely is going to make sense to consider um, just because you'll be able to more tightly tie those things together. Of course, collaboration tools. This is kind of the chat, the internal communication, all of our file management that's just going to come directly out of the box and then being able to create reports and display that data out to various stakeholders Big one here as well, of course, we love Zoho Analytics. It's going to be baked in natively, tied in with Zia. So all that sync is just going to happen. Nice thing with Zoho Analytics as well is maybe you're using some non-Zoho applications. It's pretty straightforward to bring that data into the mix along with your projects and sprints data to really combine and visualize that however you need. Quick note on pricing, not too expensive, 15 bucks a month. So obviously more expensive than just a license for Zoho projects. Um, but so $15 and that will include projects, sprints, analytics, and work drive with all of these pre-baked integrations. On this page, we can see, you know, you've got unlimited projects. Seems like they're really including like the enterprise edition of each of the applications uh, with full breakdowns provided just at a click through here as a part of that pricing page. So well worth taking a look at from a pricing point of view. Um, especially if you're not on Zoho One or maybe you're not on CRM Plus because maybe you've got a different CRM that you're using. I think this can make quite a lot of sense. Uh, so taking a look at the application itself, one of the things that is unique here is this homepage. We're kind of able to see some data from projects, sprints, as well as analytics, all just baked directly into the homepage view. I kind of like that. You know, I know a lot of people that use the projects and sprints integration. 
there isn't really a page like this in the native Zoho UI, right? So similar to almost like your CRM plus UI kind of brings things together a little bit more easily. You can manage that here within projects plus within the projects component. This is going to work very similarly to your native Zoho projects install, right? You're launching from templates. You're working through Gantt charts, right? It's everything kind of that you're used to inside of Zoho projects, um, again, you've got your tasks, issues, phases, and timesheets. One thing I'll highlight here is that for each of your projects, you can actually go in and connect them into Zoho Sprints, right? So I've already added this one here, and that basically will allow me to map over any tasks that I want to manage on the Sprint side just by opening up a task or selecting a couple tasks and choosing to add them to Sprints. Now over on the Sprint side of the aisle, those same tasks are going to appear grouped under that same project. And I can work them using the sprint methodology if that's going to make more sense for me for managing those particular steps of the flow, right? So this could be like you have a large engagement with a client. One of the milestones is about software development. And you're like, hey, I really want to manage that as a sprint. But some of these other things, I just want to do the traditional Gantt chart. You're able to accomplish that very easily here by just handing off those tasks into Zoho Sprints. Next, of course, we've got the full suite of analytics tools, including a whole bunch of pre-made dashboards. I really like using the pre-mades at least as a starting point, right? So I might open up this Projects Plus dashboard, which brings in some data from projects, some data from sprints. I'll take a look at it, and then I can make edits and adjustments from here, um, which will just save me a lot of time, right, versus starting from scratch. And then last but not least, of course, we've got WorkDrive connected in. Um, really, the way that you're mostly going to use WorkDrive is actually from inside of a project. So in a project itself, I can go into documents and easily create a team folder unique for that project where all of these documents can be loaded in and then managed in the cloud. So you're not having to download it, rename it V2, download it, rename it V3, right? Just load it all in here, make any adjustments, and everything is going to update completely live inside of each project. Now, last thing I do want to highlight here inside of Zoho Projects Plus is this little Zia tab where we can actually drop in our ChatGPT API code. And now it's going to do a lot more of that high level summary and engagement on your data for you. I would imagine as Zia agents come out, you're not going to even need the ChatGPT key, but I did want to highlight where it exists here um, so that you really just need to come in and drop in a quick little API key. All the data is secure. It's only going to be shared with OpenAI for the context of your individual instance, and you'll be able to use that as needed. So again, the OpenAI integration is really to allow you to ask these types of more interesting questions, right? You'll have Zia out of the box. As we all know, Zia is okay. Um, when Zia agents roll out, it will become a lot better. But for now, you can go in and add that GPT key and then access these kind of higher level AI workflows and Q&A sessions that you really need in order to get those quick insights into your projects. With that, I think we're ready to wrap up here for today. Kind of a quick summary video on this bundle, just making sure that everybody knows about it. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment down below if you kind of want like a deep dive walkthrough of this application. I could always connect in like our OpenAI account, kind of show you some of those AI workflows. So let us know in the comment section down below if that is something that you would find useful. As always, I appreciate a like and subscribe on the video if it was helpful for you. Really make sure that we're doing the right thing, making content that you all are enjoying. And as always, my name is Tyler Colt, and I will see you next time.